All right, so I got another video for you today. I am in beautiful northern Arizona, right outside of Sedona in Red Rock Country. Specifically, I'm right upstream of Slide Rock State Park. Um, I think we're surrounded by the Coco Nino National Forest, like I said, in northern Arizona. I'm headed down this dirt path to uh, one of the finest trout streams in all of Arizona, and that is a spring-fed stream known as uh, Oak Creek. So we're in the Oak Creek Canyon. I'm headed down to the water. We, um, me, my mom, dad, and uh, wife, we were hiking around here earlier this week, and I did, I did notice there were some trout. So let's get down here and see what happens. All right, so I just got down to the water. This is beautiful Oak Creek. Uh, like I said, this is a spring-fed uh, wild trout stream. Stays cold year-round. We're actually staying in Scottsdale, which has been like over 100 degrees pretty much the entire week we've been here. And uh, out here in Sedona, it is significantly cooler. Um, right now it's about 6.30 a.m. I got a couple hours to fish and it's only in like the low 60s, so it's pretty pretty nice change of pace. In here, there should be not only stocked rainbows, but also a nice healthy population of wild brown trout. I did see a few other fishermen down that way, so as always, we're pushing ahead, trying to give them some space. I do have my wading shoes, neoprene socks. I also have on my wading shorts, as my buddy would call, my buddy Rados would call just, you know, shorts. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna keep pushing in. All right, so we just got, our, got to our first nice hole. I'm throwing single barbless hook trout spinners. Super ethical, super ethical. I'm just gonna see what happens. Just got a little bite, second bite of the day. I'm not sure if that's from some type of uh, chub or perhaps a little wild brown trout. Who knows? So many bites, dude. Probably like 20 or 30 bites so far. Had a couple hooked, they all popped off. We are struggling mightily to land a fish. I mean, it's only been like a half an hour, but still, definitely struggling. Great water, I mean, there's so many trout in here. Really excellent water. Wanted to make sure we landed him. Just got our first Oak Creek wild brown trout. We're gonna get this single barbless hook right out of him. Take a look at him. He's only about five inches, but that's a long time coming. So let's get the hook out of him. Take a look at him. All right, so let's get let's get this guy right out of here. Let's take a look at him quick. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful fish. Wonderful colors. Probably only about you know five inches. Still still great. Still great. I'm gonna throw him right back in his hole. Got him. Just got another fish, another little wild brown. Let's try to get him in the net before he gets away. Oh, got him. All right, let's get the single barbell hook right out of him. Take a look at him, awesome. All right, so we just got our second wild brown trout. Nice, nice, nice little glide pool. Probably about, a little smaller than the last one, probably about four or five inches. Absolutely beautiful. Look at those reds, really nice. Add a post fin. Let's get him right out of here. He's out of here. Nice narrow, oh, God, almost took it out, God. Whew. Slippery rocks. We got this nice focus, focus. Um, we got this nice little channel right here. Let's see what happens. Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. All right. Let's get the hook out of him. Take a look at him. We're slinging him now. All right, so we got another little little guy, probably three, four, five inches, something like that. Exquisite reds, though. Really beautiful fish. Hands are soaking wet. Single barb that sucks. Let's get him right out of here. Get out of here, bud. Get out of here. Ooh. That was a nice one. 
That was a nice one. So we've been pushing upstream a ways and I got to a stay out, private property, private land sign. Both sides of Oak Creek, privately owned. Ooh, next half mile. Okay, so on Google Maps, I did definitely see that there was some private, um, you know, there's, there's homes, there's hotels, there's restaurants. But for some reason, I thought it would be, you know, open to fishermen or something like that. So that's real beat. Um, I don't mind hiking a mile really ever, but the road is so, if you've ever been out here on Oak Creek, uh, I think north of Sedona, um, the road is dangerously narrow, even for two cars, let alone a person. So for the next half mile, um, I guess I'll just be hiking along the road. So let me get up here. Let me push a half mile um, and hopefully we can get back to some public water. This is all, I thought, uh, National Forest, Coco Nino. Um, but I guess I was wrong, so that's fine. So sick, I've been walking along the uh, guardrail here, hoping, hoping to get past this uh, private property, but that's okay, it is so beautiful in here. Oh, God. I don't even, dude, I don't even know if I can get down to the creek here. It's like, it's like a sheer drop. Damn. All right, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get back down. We'll figure it out. Just got another little brown. All right, so we just got another little brown trout. Let's take a look at him. Get the hook out of him, keep moving. All right, so we just got another cookie cutter, little four or five inch trout. Let's get him out of here, awesome. I apologize, I keep missing the knees. We just got our fifth trout, another little guy. Nothing crazy, we're just gonna get this single barbless hook right at him. I'm definitely uh, one of the smaller guys today. Um, so let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. Another gorgeous, gorgeous little wild brown trout. Again, wonderful color, spring fed, Oak Creek. Get him right out of here. Sorry I keep missing it. What a scrub. Continuing to push up, I think we're at about, I wanna say five or six wild brown trout, Oak Creek. I um, haven't seen or got a bite from a single stocked rainbow. So I don't know if, you know, it's catch and, catch and keep, catch and release. I don't know how many they stock, but I haven't even seen a stocked rainbow yet. It's been all small wild browns, couple bigger ones, maybe like nine, 10 inches. Um, but yeah, haven't seen any, haven't seen any, uh, rainbows yet. I have seen a couple other fishermen, a fly fisherman, um, a fisherwoman. Uh, so it's definitely getting a little more crowded out here. But I've more or less had the stream to myself covering a lot of water. I think I was going to cover about five miles from where I started to where I'm going to get picked up. And I must have already gone two of those miles. Um, so we're definitely covering some water. Can't say enough good things about this stream. It's really wonderful, really wonderful. So many trout, so many trout. Ooh, let's get him in the net. Oh, whew, got him. Best fish of the day by far. Uh, this is a good nine inch. Yeah, solid, nine or 10 inch wild brown. That's sick. Let's get the hook at him and take a look at him real nice. All right, so what I've read about Oak, Oak Creek, this is definitely one of the bigger wild browns you're gonna get. I'm gonna put him at about 11 inches absolutely gorgeous colors gorgeous colors we're gonna get them right out of here yeah i'm gonna put this guy right about 11 inches oh dude that's a real real sick trout dude look at that all right let's get him out of here God, I just keep getting smacked. 
Left and right. Left and right. Oh, got him. Oh, damn it. You probably saw that fish jump clear out of the water. That's like number 50 today that did that. Not 50, but you know what I mean. I've been to Sedona two times. I'm going past some houses here. So just trying to hug this side. I haven't seen any property, fiber property signs. Private property. Um, anyways, I've been to Sedona two times this week. And I would say it's more impressive than most national parks. Um, like it's more impressive than like 70% of our national parks, but it's weird because it's like, you know, there's state parks, Arizona state parks, there's, you know, national forests. Um, but then there's a lot of private land as well. It's very interesting, um, but I love it. I mean, I can't, I can't say enough good things about Oak Creek and Sedona. All right, so I just hit a huge patch of um, private property. I was dangerously walking along the side of the road on the other side of the um, guardrail for the past, honestly, like almost 45 minutes. I actually randomly just ran into my dad. Uh, my mom and dad just did the West Fork Trail again um, right here on Oak Creek. So I'm only gonna fish maybe another hour. I'm sure there's a lot of other fishermen around. So let me get out here, see what happens. Um, and we'll keep rolling. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, oh, got him. All right. Let's get the hook at him. Take a look at him. After randomly running into my dad, very fortuitous opportunity um, at the junction of Oak Creek with the West Fork Trail, we did just get another solid five or six inch. Gorgeous, gorgeous wild brown. Let's get him out of here. Get out of here, bud. Another little guy, not even gonna net him. He's gonna get this single barbless hook right out of him. Wet in my hands, hands are wet. Hands are sopping wet. Soaking wet hands. Oh, get the hook right out of him. Beautiful four or five inch, wild brown. Get out of here, bud. Catch and release, real sick. This beautiful, beautiful open stretch of deep water. Waiting to see if I see any fish, Oh. See any fish uh, rise still haven't seen a lot of surface action like at all I'll see one or two here and there but not enough to make me want to put together my fly rod for 20 minutes and guess what they're eating Ooh. oh 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 nice one just slapped it god got past the West Fork Trail uh, and the West Fork um, a nice little tributary got to this beautiful open area the wind is really picking up i waited literally like 20 minutes to see if i saw any fish rise because i would have transitioned to my uh fly rod but i don't know if it's the wind or what but nothing so we are sticking with the uh spinning rod we're just gonna see what happens just got my first bow if i can land him see if we can get him in the net oh, got him oh nope got him all right, so let's get the hook at him, take a look at him. For some reason, these, these rainbow trout in Arizona look really good, way better than our Pennsylvania stock rainbow trout. So let me get the hook at him, single barbless hook. Let's take a look at him. All right, so we just got a solid stocked rainbow trout, really good colors on these stockers. Ooh, nice pink line, real nice. Let's get him out of here, probably about 10 inches. Get out of here, bud. Ooh. All right, so we just got our first stock rainbow trout. This must be, this big hole must be where they stock them and they just don't move around that much because we covered honestly probably like three miles of water and it was all wild browns and right in this monster hole which for some reason nobody's fishing it's um it's all stock rainbow so that's great so i think to end the day because we've been out here for a couple hours i'm just gonna fish this stretch for the next 20 minutes see if i can catch maybe one more and then we're gonna call it a day so this is a wonderful stretch let's see what happens
All right, so with this beautiful spring-fed wild brown trout fishery in front of us and the towering cliffs and mountainside of the Oak Creek Canyon in front of us, let's quick wrap up for the day. So we were up here on Oak Creek, uh, north of Sedona. I believe we're more or less surrounded by the Coconino National Forest, or at least it's in this area. We are right up from, I think it's Sliding Rock State Park in, I don't know if it's northern or central Arizona. We fished for a couple hours on Oak Creek uh, managed to catch um, probably eight or nine, maybe even 10 uh, wild brown trout up to probably about 11 inches. We also got one uh, stocked rainbow, um, all using uh, single barbless hooks. I didn't really try fly fishing. There wasn't a lot of fish rising, so it wasn't really conducive for fly fishing today. But anyways, really impressed by, although there's not a ton of uh, wild trout opportunities in Arizona, the few that I've seen are really beautiful, really productive. So. I'm gonna wrap up, we're gonna go hike a little bit later. So, as always, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll catch some more fish next time.